Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's been an eventful day. I had a doctor's appointment. I haven't seen like a normal family doctor. Yeah, well, I haven't seen a doctor basically other than walking into the clinic when I had pneumonia for over 20 years. Given that I'm over a half a century old and shit starts going wonky, I thought it was a good idea to go in and get checked. That's what I did today, this morning. Right now I'm on my way to the chiropractor because I got a wicked knot. Nothing unusual there. So I just wanted to tell you some of the fun stories about my, my appointment this morning. If you're triggered by shots and blood and all that kind of stuff, just turn this off. So I go in and I have to fill out all the paperwork because it's my first time you know, going to this doctor and all that kind of stuff. Then they tell me, eventually I'll have to get uh, a urine sample and they got to take a bunch of blood for a bunch of tests. So I meet the doctor, great guy. We had a good rapport. It was very low key kickback and actually kind of fun. Good experience compared to the last one I had, which was the first time and only time I went to a doctor since I got out of the military. And that was such an awful experience. I haven't gone in 20 years. So I go in to do my urine sample. I go in the bathroom and she explains to me, you gotta take the cup, you gotta fill out the sticker and stick it on there and you put it in this door, blah, 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 blah. Okay, no problem, <laughs> except I'm the monkey. So here comes the problem. So I filled out the little sticker that you're supposed to put on the side of the jar. And what happens? It sticks to my fingers and lets go and whirls right into the damn toilet. I mean, come on. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, screw this. I'm gonna flush that some bitch. But then I see all the little signs that say, absolutely do not put any paper products in the toilet. And monkey brain thinks to myself, okay, I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna flush the toilet and it's just gonna fucking explode the entire system. And they're gonna find my sticker with my name on it. So the monkey's gotta reach into the friggin' toilet to dig out his sticker. Yay, that's the first thing. Now, I get that all done. I, I, I thoroughly disinfect my hands and, and you know I'm all good to go there. Then I have to go give blood. Now, here's the thing about the monkey. The monkey's got a vampire inside of him and the vampire does not like to give up blood. Been this way my entire life. I never, ever, well, hold on a second. Like I said, trigger warning, I'm gonna talk about shots and blood. My vampire has never wanted to give up the blood. I very rarely, in my over half a century of age, have ever gotten stuck once and had them get the blood out that they needed, okay? Almost every time they have to stick me multiple times before I actually give up the blood. Today was no exception. And I told her, look, the vampire in me is not gonna give this blood readily. My veins are gonna collapse. It's gonna clamp down like a vice. You're gonna have a hard time. And she's like, no problem. Stick number one, she gets a worth of blood and then it clamps down and it stops and nothing she can do gets that thing to pump okay pulls it out i get a cotton ball she goes for the second one and the little finagling she finally gets it and manages to get the 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 four vials of blood that she needs from me but now i got two two cotton balls plus they had to give me a tetanus shot so I'm, I'm basically gonna be like a freaking wet noodle here, I'm sure, by the end of the day. So yeah, that went well. I'm gonna scream sing to relax a little bit after the hilarity of my initial appointment here, and uh, I'm just gonna chill. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the stories. Okay, kids, pretty abrupt ending, but I still have a ton of shit to do. I haven't finished all the day job stuff that I wanted to get done. Uh, I'm waiting for my friend to come and get the key for the place to watch the cat and I just did dishes, I took out the garbage. I still gotta do this video, so much to do, and I'm running around like a chicken without a head, so I'm gonna cut it short right now. Don't know if you're actually gonna get a video tomorrow because I'm gonna spend the entire day driving. We'll see what happens. Saturday is all pretty much funeral stuff. Don't know if you're gonna get a video then. Then Sunday is driving the whole time. So what I will likely do is film a little bit from those three days and cut something together Sunday night. I know, right? A day without a video. But I had to do the same thing when I went to Chicago, so I'm sure you'll get by. But that's all you get for today, though. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.